I'm not going to look into their hand because I, I know what they have. Uh, let's do this. Oh yeah. Now it's looking good, baby. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Gnome here. Today we're checking out Boss Riquette for our member, Marco. Thank you. It's kind of funny because my name's DeMarco. Kind of have the same name. Anyways, thanks Marco for becoming a member. And I know you had asked for this Boss Riquette deck before being a member. So as soon as you became a member, I was like, let me do this for him real quick, man. Just because that just shows some dedication. You know, you didn't have to become a member, but you did. Just so you can see your deck. The deck's pretty good. It's really powerful. It's in Hell Queue. I questioned why this deck was in Hell Queue. I had some people in my Discord tell me why. And I was like, yeah, I guess you guys are right. And then I kind of tested it for myself. Bothery is really powerful, uh, especially in the right circumstances. With the right opening hands, you can really get his alt off as early as turn three or turn four sometimes. It's really awesome. But what I've done is I've separated the deck into five piles, which this third pile here is only two cards. I didn't realize how much I took out as far as uh, protection spells. So this pile is protection spells and there's only two of them. Terrific Protection and Guardian of Faith. There's way more white protection spells, but I just didn't find room to put them in this deck. You could probably take out some removal, but geez, man, the matchups you go against, you just absolutely need all the removal you can possibly get. If we were playing weaker decks, we could definitely use less removal, but since we're going up against Hellcute, Rusko, Baral, Prismatic Bridge, you name it, we're going up against it. It's just one of those things where I had to really tweak the deck for that meta, and I hate doing that, but it's the only way that I can get some decent gameplay out of some of these decks. So the first pile here I have is just your general cheap creatures that you want to play. Uh, I try not to go over three mana as far as creatures go. You may ask why Anointed Procession isn't in here, just because the meta that we're going up against doesn't allow us to really play it. I almost even had to cut stuff like Nyx Lotus out the deck just because you really can't keep anything on the battlefield in those type of cues, man. So this is just our good creatures. If you want to see all the creatures without me going over it, the deck list will be in the link description down below with your choice of Aether Hub or Moxfield. In the second pile, we have just general good utility uh, that helps out our decks. Abiding Grace is really cool because we do have a bunch of one drops. It could probably be cut though, but I like things like Duelist Heritage. It's because you can gain double strike pretty easily for three mana, I mean, every turn pretty hefty. One card I really like in the deck is Shrom's Expertise. You can really get a lot of power on board for really cheap and you can cheat something into play since most of our deck is below three mana. In here that I probably would have cut two is Cathar's Crusade. The meta just, the, me the meta that we go against just does not allow this to get played. Either gets countered or it gets removed or by the time you play this, you don't have enough creatures to really make a difference. And then like I said, on a third pile is Protection. Tavares Protection, Guardian of Faith. I had other ones in here, but I took them out. Uh, the deck was not doing too well because they were all like three or four cost cards that I just didn't want to keep in the deck. I wanted to keep the curve pretty low. And this pile here, we have our draw support. I also didn't realize that we don't have enough of. You kind of need to draw with bossery, especially early game to mid game. A lot of these cards take up mana to draw cards or requires you to get extra creatures on the board, which sometimes is kind of hard. Like I said, in that type of meta, when you're going up against Rusko or you're going up against Golos, I mean, board wipes occur on turn four, or turn five. So rumor gatherer gets destroyed and you don't get no value out of it. And then in this pile here is our removal spells. Anything that deals with getting rid of a nonline permanent or something. This is the pile. The deck is pretty fun. The deck is pretty powerful. You could tweak it more to have a lower curve so you can just get boss real as fast as possible. But like I said, the meta makes you have to play boss real a little differently. If you enjoyed this, let me know down in the comments. And thank you, Marco, again, for becoming a member. I really appreciate it. And without further ado, let's get right into it. And let's see how the deck does, shall we? All right, opponent goes first. We're going to miss it. Um, this might be a bad hand. Just based off the fact that Niv Mizzet's not going to play creatures. It's really a burn counter deck. Do we, do we really want to go up against this right now? I don't feel like going up against this right now. Uh, okay. I guess they'll deal with it whenever they, uh... Whenever it gets bigger. Hey, 
Yeah, I knew that wasn't gonna happen. Search for his Kanta. Let's play the mentor of the meek. Although I wonder if Esper Sentinel would have been the better play there. Doesn't play anything. Why am I not surprised? So they play out the mission briefing. We could just play Bossery here. You know what? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to play Bossery. I mean, they have to play a braid, right? Narset. We just hit the Narset, right? Like, that's okay. Lightning Bolt. Plus two, the Esper Sentinel. My sand will protect you. Swing like that. Play the Strong's Expertise. Play out the Ambitious Farmhand. Unfortunately, we don't have... We don't have the mana to pay the one. I think that was a pretty successful turn. Chromatic Lantern. They can't pay the two, so we draw a card. I knew putting a counter on Esper Sentinel would be good. Who would have thought? So they have a decision to make. What do they want to bolt here? The mentor to me? Yeah. I guess... I'm gonna put it on Asper Sentinel. And that. Oh, you know what? If we. No, no, next turn we'll be able to. I'm recording also. Yeah, next turn we'll be able to get the Coven ability on Ambitious Farmhand. No! Oh, I have the Teferi's Protection. Don't have a counter spell, please. Don't, don't, don't have a counter spell, please. Please, I beg of you. No. Wait, what? Ah, the tail's in didn't work. Ah, ha, 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 ha. That's hilarious. They had a tail's in. Tail's in's not going to save you. Oh yeah. G G's. G G's. Wow. That was scary. I thought they were gonna counter the Teferi's protection. They almost did if Tails End wasn't in your deck and it was another counter spell. <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> GG's. Okay, we're up against Asika. Prismatic Bridge. No surprise there. Um, let's mulligan this. I didn't like it. I didn't feel it was good enough of a keep. Uh, no, we don't want to play Micaeus. Great for apparition, let's play that. Grill spiral. Did you do that for your land drop? No, they 
they, they had their land, they were just doing it. Just to do it, I guess. Let's play Bosri. The one we counter on Griff Apparition. We could ultimate next turn. If they leave us alone and just play their Prismatic Bridge. And that's what they'll do. So... I'm going to get our ultimate first. The sun has my Turn to the command zone. We will be found worthy I'm going to play... Jawbone Duelist. Let's see what they get off of this. Yeah, Johnny the Greathearted. Not too scary. Unless they play something crazy off of this mana they have here. This could just be a Sika, I mean a Prismatic Bridge Super Friends. Like a lot of Prismatic Bridge decks are. Ugin. So Ugins are going to get rid of the Grief Apparition, I'm, I'm assuming. Okay. So Ugin's dead next turn. Let's flash in the Resolute Reinforcements. <laughs> what? 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 What happened, man? My opponent, you're playing Prismatic Bridge. And you're conceding against the Boss Cat deck. I don't understand. GG's. Okay, we're up against Goshentai with Gigantha. Now this is different. This is different. That's what I like to see. I like to see some different commanders, man. I mean, Goshintai, yeah, yeah, Goshintai, you know, you, you usually always see Goshintai, but seeing it with a Gigantha, no, I'm, I'm not sure, I, I think all of the shrines are actually, like, one pips, so, it's not too bad, let's get it, what you got in hand? Uh, let's get that out your hand. That's annoying. I got the anointed peacekeeper too, so. I have nothing but land. Did he ask for told? I'm not going to look into their hand because I, I know what they have. Uh, let's do this. Oh yeah. Now it's looking good, baby. Now we're looking good. They play Goshen Tai, they make a 1 1. Alright. Uh. Selfless Spirit. Grateful Apparition. I trust in your ability. Yeah, we'll just do that. How about that? Get all that damage in. We have an indestructible dude, so unless they get a farewell. Be good. Oh, they can make a lot of shrines from that Goshen Tai of shared purpose. That's a lot of dudes. Uh, let's see if we can do something with this draw. You know what? I think we're just going to have to, uh... I believe we're going to have to do the dang thing. Minus two, Bosri. And we're just going to swing out with everything. Uh, 
Um, I don't know if that's GG's. It should be, maybe? They lose a lot of shrines, though, in the process. Even if it's not. One life away. Oh my gosh. We, we gain a ton of life. They gain three life. Hold of infinite rage. Yeah, that's game. Just to be on the safe side. I've done it too many times. I mean, I know I have the, the flyers in the air. But I've done it too many times where I'm like, oh yeah, that's game. I swing out. And... We don't win. But GG's. That was a that was a really good showing of the boss redeck. We go first against Rada, Heart of Killed. It's a pretty good hand to keep it. Pretty, pretty decent hand if we can hit our land drops. They seem to always have a ramp spell uh, that Land of War Elves or Elvish Mystic. Rada turn two is good. Alright, let's play our Welcoming Vampire. And let's put a one-one counter on Machaeus. We're not going to attack, so... And they're not going to attack with their Elvish Mystic into us. Problem here, though, is that now they can just easily get through to... Bossery. Come on. That's just really annoying. It's, it's more annoying than anything. Let's bait them. Let's put a let's put a one-one counter on Machaeus, and then we're gonna flash in. Uh, if they try to swing with their mana dorks, we could swing. Thor Commando's a three-one. That kind of sucks. Get rid of our graveyard. They get a 6-6. Six, six. We need land, man. We need land. Yeah, we're just, it's just not going to do it, man. We need land. We need it now. We need land and we need it now. I got like robber. Damn, that's nine damage. This wouldn't happen if we... If we got our land like we were supposed to. We could totally block the Frog Hemoth here with the Machaeus. This year of the Menagerie. Okay. Five mana left. Are you kidding me? Jeez. Well, the plan was to get rid of the plan. I mean, uh, the plan was to get rid of the Froggy Myth with the Elspeth Conquer's death. I just don't know if we can. 
and it all depends on if we get this land. If we don't get the land, we just we just die. <laughs> yeah, because we could block the throne if we really needed to. Yeah. I'm going to have to take the damage. Put him on my counter, Micaeus. I forgot. I forgot about the uh, the goblin here. But we still die. We still die. Oh my god. Okay, we go first against Azusa. No, we go second, sorry. They go first. And, um... Azusa's pretty scary. Azusa can be really scary just from the, off the fact that they can just play, like, ramp so hard. So hard, so early. Like, they play Azusa here, they drop two lands. They're already at six mana. Oh, so... Okay, now they play Azusa. I was like, wait... That wouldn't make sense, but... Wow, they're gonna play Azusa here. Oh, they don't have the two lands, wow. Well, isn't that just awesome for us? Isn't that just amazing for us? Um, let's add a line. Let's swing, baby. Azusa can block one. But I th since I don't have the extra land, this is really good for us, right? Because now we know that they're not hitting their land drops, which is really bad for an Azusa deck. You really want to hit your land drops. Because I would have used a Patriarch Humiliation on like something like the Lotus Cobra. Scoot Swarm would have been good to use it against. Um... No, don't blizzard bra. Don't blizzard bra. So we can actually get rid of the Scoot Swarm with the Patriarch's Humiliation. So that'd be good. Yeah, let's plus one. Let's put the woman counter onto the Adeline. We'll swing. I'm gonna blow up the Scoot Swarm. Before they have a chance to put a land down. Now if they wanna swing at Bossry, they have to swing everything. Or two creatures at least. Wow, they're not hitting their land drops. That's unfortunate. Rather unfortunate. Uh, I'll give double strike to the Adonto Vanguard so we don't have to lose four life. To uh, kind of protect it here. And plus, they, they're probably going to want to chump block the Edeline. Yeah, I mean, Azusa's is not doing anything for you. Might as well block with it. They don't chump block the Edeline. So I think the only reason we, we won this game is because they didn't... Or, I'm not going to say we won this game yet, but... The only reason that we have the upper hand in this game is because they didn't, haven't hit their land drops. Which, in a Zeusa deck, that's probably the worst thing that can happen. 
Cogla. We play Brave the Elements. Yep. Uh, you know, I don't think they actually they actually were dead that game. I don't think they were actually dead, but they kind of left too early. I don't know. This is a 3-1. You have to block that. Nothing is trample. You can block everything. If, even if we minus 2 the boss, we're only making 2 creature tokens. Nothing is trample. I mean, we have double strike, but that's about it. So, I, I just don't understand. They, they probably could have came back from that, honestly. GG's.